here. I've been here every day since this. Every day since what? My son went missing. My son was kidnapped. I'm not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up, that I am at fault. And there is your embedded admission. This is Reporter Room with Jessica Della Davies. Oh, okay. This is not the video that I wanted to make. In fact, it's not the video that I was planning to make with you guys um, or for you guys today, but it is something that we need to get into. It's a mystery. Where is Quentin Simon? This is one of the most shocking cases since the Susan Smith case. Quentin is nowhere to be found and his mother and grandmother have shown no interest in helping police find him. Police have named one and only one prime suspect in this case and that is Leilani. They appear to believe that Leilani threw Quentin away like trash and literally placed him in the garbage. And I am going to talk more about Billy Joe and Leilani because we have important things to go over. I'm going to talk about them in just a moment, so please stay with me. Everything I'm sharing with you today is my opinion, and opinions are not facts, so please don't send any negativity to anyone, anytime, anywhere. Let's be good and kind to each other. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new video or a live stream, and give this video a thumbs up so I know you were here. One of the most important things to build a case against Leilani is to have proof that Quentin is no longer with us. Law enforcement is actively sifting through the landfill to find what remains of Quentin. And I'm going to talk about Billy Joe Howell in just a moment, so please stay with me. Leilani is stonewalling and deflecting by pointing the finger at Diana, the babysitter, and Diana is probably the only caregiver in Quentin's life who actually cared about his health and well-being. Leilani is pointing the finger at her ex-husband Bubba, even though he hadn't seen Quentin for months and would have no motive to do anything. Leilani is pointing the finger at Danny Youngkin, saying he bathed the three kids the night before. He tucked the three kids into bed, and he texted Diana, the babysitter, that Leilani would be staying home with the three children. Now, I'm not ruling Danny Youngkin in or out. Leilani wants us to believe that she woke up that morning and was surprised that the children were home and Quentin was missing. Now, Leilani is saying that probably a stranger abducted him and it was probably someone who couldn't have a baby and really wanted a baby, so they walked into her house and took Quentin. Let's talk about Billy Joe, because Billy Joe seems to be Leilani's enabler in chief. And unlike in the Casey Anthony case where George and Cindy Anthony actively searched for little Kaylee, they made t-shirts, they printed posters, Leilani and Billy Joe aren't taking any active role in searching for Quentin. In contrast, Billy Joe and Leilani went to a $65 a night hotel, which I believe they went to in order to get away from the FBI so they could hatch their plan to distract and deflect from what happened to Quentin. They partied it up at Stingrays to celebrate their plan. Right after, Leilani's half-brother was deployed to a variety of YouTubers in an effort to dirty up Leilani's ex and Quentin's biological father, along with Diana the babysitter and Danny Youngkin. When that didn't work, Leilani and Billy Joe went running to a news outlet to talk about an abductor theory. Both of them tried really hard to cry on camera but neither of them appear to be able to have squeezed out a single tear. Police need to have enough evidence to point to the fact that something did happen to Quentin, and it really helps the prosecution to make their case if they actually have Quentin, can conduct an autopsy and determine what happened to him. Now, they may not have much to work with because he's been in the landfill for a while. 
I'm going to talk about Leilani in just a moment and discuss her psychology, so please stay with me. We may not ever know what happened to Quentin, however, I do believe that law enforcement is focused on the landfill because of some kind of video of Leilani throwing Quentin in the garbage. My understanding is there is a video of Leilani throwing him away and that law enforcement know which dumpster it was so they're going to section off the landfill and focus on the section where that dumpster would have dumped. The problem that law enforcement is facing is similar to what we saw in the Kylie Rodney case. We don't know how much of Quentin is still going to be intact. He was very young, so his bones would still be very soft, and he's been out in the landfill allegedly since October 5th or October 6th. However, law enforcement will be able to see if there was any kind of trauma. This way, Leilani and Billy Joe cannot run around and pretend he was abducted by someone who just wanted to have a baby to love and create any kind of reasonable doubt. So the FBI is working hard because they understand that it's very hard for prosecutors to prove what happened when you don't have a body. And as a reminder for those of you who are familiar with the Casey Anthony case, you may remember that it took months to find Kaylee. Eventually a utility worker named Roy Crunk found Kaylee when he went to use the restroom in a wooded area located near George and Cindy Anthony's home in Florida. This area is where the Anthony's would dispose of their family pets. Like Quentin, Kaylee was thrown away like trash. You may also remember that Casey Anthony was found not guilty for what happened to Kaylee. She got off and her attorney, Jose Baez, defended her and the jury could not reconcile the fact that a pretty, young, sweet-looking mother could do something so horrific to her own child. So Billy Joe, I have a question for you. Are you going to stand up for Quentin or are you going to continue to enable Leilani? Because you cannot have it both ways. You were entrusted with the care of Quentin by the state of Georgia. You were the one who had Quentin in your custody, and therefore he was ultimately your responsibility. I hope you step up and do the right thing for Quentin because he deserves a grandma that loves him. He deserves justice. So it took over four months to find Kaylee Anthony, but she was found. And it may take time to find Quentin, but law enforcement is going to continue to look for him because they need him to ensure that they can bring charges. Remember, law enforcement named one person and one person only as their prime suspect. And it was you, right Leilani? Subscribe.